repairs things under those warranties. Not if I get there first. Not if I get there first. Put it back. Hey, coffee today here. So that's how it began. Ed late for work as usual, and me off to sell CDI. You know, the four-in-one home entertainment system. But I'm getting ahead of myself. See, my first customers were soon to be Timmy and his mom. Seemed that loading a game on Dad's new oh, CD-ROM okay. computer was more than they bargained for. Don't touch anything, okay? Okay. Timmy, you're not doing anything. Oh, no. Timmy, Timmy, don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Please, don't do anything. Mom? What does erase disk mean? It wasn't long after that Ed got the call from his dispatcher. Earl here. Yeah, Earl. Uh, we've got a computer down. At, you better write this down. 2111 Pine Street. Uh, seems the young man took out the family computer. Now, don't think of me as stealing Ed's customers so much as steering them in the right direction. Robin Hood for the information age, if you will. So, you hit a pothole in the information superhighway, huh? Wow, that was fast. We ready? Uh, yeah, the uh, computer is right over there. Aha. Uh -huh. But, 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 the computer's this over here. there. This goes in here, and this goes in here. There you go. All fixed. It, but it was the computer that What's was... that? What's that? CDI. What? Compact Disc Interactive. It plays everything from music CDs to educational games. All through your television, all on its big screen, and all in full motion digital video. But... But does... more importantly, though, it helps keep Shorty over there. Timmy! From Trash and Dad's <sighs> computer. Hey, Michelangelo. You like crayons, huh? How'd you like to try this? Crayon factory. Put it in. I'll close it. And now, let's play. Hey, 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 hey. check this out. Once you've clocked in your time card, you're free to roam the plant, trying everything from creating your own colors in the custom crayon department to fixing the factory's machines. Might I add, it's a great interactive way to teach problem solving. I mean, just look at this. You've got mixing and matching, sorting and solving, and if they aren't solving and sorting or mixing and matching, they're figuring out pattern recognition and quality control. Um, hi. Hello. Excuse me. Remember me? Hey, the CD-ROM? Funny you should mention the CD-ROM. Oh? CDI here has everything you'd get in a CD-ROM, except the problems. With CDI, you just put in your disc and play. No loading problems, no complicated equipment, nothing. I mean, CDI plays educational titles, music CDs, movies like Four Weddings and a Funeral, games. Yes. Oh, and the games. <laughs> Hold your thought, Rembrandt. Here's a real beaut. Chaos Control. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Oh. Chaos control, sound familiar? Mm -hmm. The year is 2071. Aliens have invaded the solar system, and the fate of the planet rests upon you. Swooping and swerving, flying through the Manhattan skyline, shooting alien invaders. But you don't get off that easy. If by chance you manage to live through this, you've got three more missions to keep you busy. So you keep pushing ahead, firing away at everything in your path. But they're attacking from below. They're coming from the sides. You're blasting away. You're fighting for liberty. You're, you're, you're... You're just sitting there. Oh, I'm sorry. I, listen, I'm sure my husband would find this fascinating. But me, on the other hand, I think I would like to try my husband. Oh. You know, um, he bought the CD-ROM, and he has all his favorite golf games on it, and... Palm Springs Golf. Check it out. The entire game is played against real footage from 18 of the most recognized holes in Palm Springs. Every shot is recreated to the smallest detail. 
Hook it, and you're in the rough. Too far, you're in the traps. Slice it, and you're swimming. Nevertheless, the biggest selling point has to be that you could play like a seasoned golfer without having to dress like one. Timmy, Timmy! Oh, don't worry. It's CDI. So, you like bears, Timmy? Mm -hmm. Why not try it on this here optional roller controller? Huh? You see, Berenstain Bears is another one of CDI's great educational titles. I mean, CDI has games to teach spelling, there's games to teach grammar, even games to teach reasoning. With Berenstain Bears, to play at the fair, kids have to first learn responsible behavior. In touring the house, kids are learning mathematics. And at Lizzie's tea party, you're even learning manners. You know, the things you use throughout your life. But our computer has a CD, which... What it all comes down to is this. Computers are great for computer kinds of things, but let's face it, computer makes for a very fragile, not to mention expensive game machine. Well, that's where CDI comes in. It's everything you use your CD-ROM for and then some. CDI offers both education and entertainment, all through your television, all in CD quality surround sound, all full screen, and all in full motion digital video. And if that wasn't enough, CDI is so simple, anyone can use it. Which keeps Junior here from playing the computer on Super uh -huh. Ooh, nice one. Yep, no need to thank me. I'm just here to help. While my mission in life was to introduce people to the wonders of CDI, Ed's mission was to make as much while doing as little as possible. Okay, let's start by marching it out. You're marching on your white leg. Let's pick it up and go. Now, with the Kathy Smith workout disc, you can work out as much as you want without having to drag Timmy here to the gym. You tailor your training to your individual goals. Watch this. See that? It even keeps your program on file. You can change pace in the middle of a workout. Vary your training. Oh, boy, I mean, just look at that. Muscle toning, body sculpting. There's aerobics, aeroboxing. Why, wow, you'll be sweating with the sveltest in no time. Not only is it a great way to get in shape, it's a great way to stay in shape. Of course, working out at home not only saves time and money, it also keeps you within comfortable reach of your fridge. What the hell? Well, not, no worries. There's still more than 200 titles to go. Uh, actually, I was thinking about... About... One of the dozens of full-length motion pictures available on CDI? Mm, four weddings and a funeral, perhaps? How about something like... Like something you could play with your husband and friends? The live-action, interactive version of the board game Clue. Actually, I was thinking about... The racy political murder mystery Voyeur. <laughs> the educational children's game Sticky Bear Math. Jeopardy? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Ah, uh, ready to pit wits with Alex himself, eh? You bet. This is Jeopardy! Let's put the dollar values on the board. How about American history? You're good at that. Yeah. Okay. Yep, don't you two worry about me. I'll let myself out. All right. Uh, first president of the United States? Who's your dressing? Yes, Timmy! Good job. Happy new CDI owners? Ed late? It was a typical day. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Work. You might want to try it sometime. You got a little something here. Not to make excuses for him, but Ed was born 20 minutes after me, and he's been late ever since. Now that you know what Compact Disc Interactive has to offer, it's clear why CDI is CD for your TV. With CDI, you'll experience full motion digital video with compact disc sound as big as your own television. CDI does the work of a CD-ROM, a VCR, a video game unit, and a CD player, all in one. And it's yours for just eight payments of only $62.50. CDI offers over 200 titles like the cinematic adventure Burn Cycle. There are educational discs like Berenstain Bears, interactive music titles like Peter Gabriel's Explora One, or in-depth reference works like Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia, and movies like Four Weddings and a Funeral with new releases every month. Plus, CDI also plays music CDs, making Compact Disc Interactive a must for your home entertainment system. And CDI offers over 200 titles with new releases every month.
Magnavox CDI player now, and you'll also get six pieces of incredible software included free with your purchase. Compton's Encyclopedia. The animated adventure Space Ace. The thrill ride Chaos Control. The kids' classic Berenstain Bears. A blockbuster movie and the music CD Shared Vision. The songs of the Beatles is sung by contemporary artists. A $265 software value included at no additional charge when you buy now. Call this number now to receive the Magnavox CDI player, complete with digital video cartridge, game controller, and over $265 of CDI's best titles, all for just eight payments of only $62.50. Call during this limited time offer and find out how easy, versatile, and inexpensive CDI can be. Introducing anything new to teenagers is always tough. They think they know everything about everything, and everything is boring. But these three young men were about to get a wake-up call from ZDI Sid. Hey, Dwayne! <laughs> Maybe you get some new games for this thing. I don't know. Hey, Dwayne, watch what you're doing. I mean, I can play this in my sleep. Yeah. you've done why are you blaming me why do you think oh sure put it on the shelf no one will know i wish my dad plays this thing all the time what are we gonna do i know tell him you came home it was already broken tell him the house was haunted by a poltergeist and this was just a warning uh hey Ed. yeah Earl. we got a game machine down a uh, group of young men in need of assistance over at uh, 219 South Cherry Glen. That's 219 South Cherry Glen. Uh, can you get right over there? Not before me, Eddie. Ooh, game machine DOA, huh? Yeah. Can you fix it? Oh, I'll take care of it, all right. Okay, this goes in here, this in here, this in here, and there you go. What's that supposed to be? This. It's a CDI. It does the work of a VCR, a CD player, a game machine, and a CD-ROM all in one. And what are we supposed to do with it? Oh, I don't know, Einstein. I'll go out on a limb and say, watch movies, listen to compact discs, play games, interact with multimedia titles. Uh-huh, Nita. Now, can you fix the machine so we can get back to our game? I thought you fellas might be into something more challenging than those two-dimensional things. You know, something with full-motion digital video, killer graphics, a plot. Like what? You boys think you're man enough for burn cycle? You see, the hook here is you're a software thief who ran into a little problem. Someone finds out what you're up to, and now you're running around with a cyber virus in your skull. And unless you can figure out how to get it out in the next 120 minutes, kaboom, you'll be re-wallpapering your bedroom with ground chuck. Come on, Cutter! Run! Come on, faster! Bummer. OK, so you're at the door. Go into your handbag, set the bomb, and... No, you need more time. Okay, Sparky, I think we've seen enough. Kevin, you're up. Now, eventually, Ed did make it to 219 North Cherry Glen, where he found the wrong address and the wrong three guys. Hmm. Hmm, perhaps another one for Pops. Ah, uh, here it is. Chaos Control. Yeah. Mm. Strap in, boys. You're outnumbered five to one by these planetary probe-stealing earth marauding. We'll blow you to smithereens without blinking alien. And while you're up here furiously fighting across the deck of the Keshron mothership, they've got stragglers screaming through the solar system, annihilating anything that moves. So you're up here whipping around, picking off those barbarians left and right, vying for global salvation. But these guys are relentless. No timeouts, nothing. Once you blast one, another one keeps coming right at it, right after it ends. <sighs> So, you fellas ready for something else? Yeah. We still have more than 200 titles to go. Let's see what we have here. Seventh guest. Hmm? Let's 
the Hall of Fame football. Here it is. How about Space Ace? Mm -hmm. Now, assuming you boys can keep up, tell me this isn't identical to the arcade version. Testing. So, One, Dwayne. two, three. <laughs> oh, yeah. Time for some food. No, no, right, right, right. CDI. Now, you see here, fellas, what you got? Where else can you find a food? Hello? back to another Friday night Philip CDI and chill with a quip uh, I found myself googling um, playable CDI games today kind of a funny prospect uh, but I think I found some so um, got a new stack of uh, nice burned CDRs to play today what do we got here? We got Girls Club, the fantasy dating game. Merlin's Apprentice. For some reason, I burned that one twice. My memory's going. Uh, got some of the popular uh, Zelda installments. Got Zelda, Wand of Gamelon, Zelda's Adventure, and Link, Faces of Evil. Um, these are bound to be just great, just fantastic. Uh, Mad Dog McCree. Nice little light gun action. Uh, Tetsuo Gaiden. There's a shmup for the Philips CDI. I've never played this. Never played this. It looks terrible. Um, and then, you know, maybe some actual reputable point-and-click adventures like Dragon's Lair, uh, The Seventh Guest. Oh, Mutant Rage Body Slam. This one's supposed to be like a Streets of Rage style beat-em-up. And then, you know, if we get bored, there's always the, the good old Hotel Mario, which... Uh, I mean, last week, uh, I thought that Hotel Mario was actually quite playable. Um, in fact, I, I was having fun with it, so I'm not even going to rag on that game. I think it's actually pretty fun. Um, but the one that I wanted to kind of kick off with uh, that was featured in that kind of funny Philips CDI advert is um, uh, Burn Cycle. This game has been... Uh, kind of called the the only like killer app for the Philips CDI so we're gonna give it a shot today I don't know uh, I, I couldn't get very far before because I didn't have the mouse and the controller like scroll speed is like so slow so I'd see an enemy on screen and the, I'd move right on the controller and I'd be like Arr! and then I'd get shot before I can even do anything but uh, let's see we got some friends here in the chat I got uh, not um, poor defender 13, Eugenio Battaglia, yes. Fighting Island, yes. Got the Eclipse Picks patrons in here tonight. I'd love to see it. Seppi Starshine, oh yeah. Moro Con Contaxi, uh, Arizona T God, what is up? What is up? Lucid Dreamer, welcome back. Commodore 256, always glad to see you. Ed Jr., it's becoming a regular here. Uh, he, yo, he, yo, Drim, uh, Rainy Cakes, yo, I assume Molotovich is in tow as well. Uh, who else we got here? I said Arizona Teak out, I think. Agro Craggle, yeah, yeah, welcome, buddy. Uh, huh, Rick Fields, welcome back. Shabrowski, welcome back. Uh, Wizard Dolphin, yo, oh, VGM Wax, what is up? What is up? Wow, we got a packed house tonight. Really happy to see y'all. Always happy to see y'all. And let me give my... Maybe a little boost in the mids there. Yeah, there we go. Make sure I'm getting in the red here on my mic. Okay, well, well, well. Um, got a couple things to pimp. Uh, for one, I'm wearing a brand new 100% Electronica uh, crew neck uh, champion reverse weave. Uh, um, this is a fucking sick, sick shirt. Uh, I'm gonna actually pull up a um, browser window here. Oh, look at that. Browserception. Yeah, you can buy this on the 100% Electronica site for $64. And let me tell you, as it starts to get colder here, it is worth every penny. This is um, by far the comfiest uh, sweater I own. I've, I've got it in two colors now. I've got the gray and the black. Um, 
I highly recommend this sweater. It is really, really comfy. And uh, also, I was really happy to receive my artist copy of Curse Breaker Gaiden. Yay, it's finally done. I'm so glad to get this one out here and uh, you know, featuring uh, some new art, some new beautiful art by Bonnie Chan. And um, you know, a new uh, Ska Obi from uh, our good friend R23X. And uh, just in case you were worried about the pre-order vinyl looking a little murky, it turned out exactly how I wanted it to uh, with the yellow and red swirl vinyl. Look at that, it's just gorgeous. I love, I love, love, love how this turned out. And it sounds amazing too. Uh, the bass frequencies are just really, really pounding, and both the uh, 33 and 45 versions sound just as intended. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with this pressing. I believe there are still some available on the web store. So, if you are interested, go forth, because um, as you might notice, it matches the OB for the Neo Gaia Fantasy mixtape. And uh, word on the street is that some equip reissues will be hitting the 100% web store uh, sooner than later, uh, all featuring the same um, OB strip. So uh, yeah, um, looking at the chat here, this is the nicest way to start our new lockdown, says Commodore. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know anything about that. I've heard some other places are, are getting stricter than others. Uh, it still seems pretty open here in Chicago. Sefi Starshine says, love in the new earrings. Thank you so much. Uh, hope you're having a good day. Uh, I am having a great day, Arizona T-God. Thank you. Thank you, looking fresh. Thank you, Lucid Dreamer. Yes, you did see seventh guest, Edgar Craggle. For sure, for sure. Zelda, yay. My childhood mind was blown away playing seventh guest, playing a point and click mansion game at like four years old. Yeah, I've never played it, Agro. Um, I'm excited to check it out. Uh, love the glasses. Thank you. Thank you, Agro. Hey, friends. Hey, VGM. Hey, hey, hey. Is that a slightly thinner shirt than the hoodie? Um, it's one of these champion reverse weaves. So it's it's um, it's a sweater, uh, but it's, I don't know, It's it's it doesn't feel as heavy as the gray one I have. It's a little lighter, but it's like the same warmth and um, I've got like a Uniqlo uh, heat tech uh, turtleneck underneath, and I find that these these sweaters are really great if you have like a thin insulating base layer underneath. Sometimes I wear, um, I bought them before I was vegan, full disclosure, but I do wear the thin smart wool base layers, and I really like those because they're, they're super thin, they're not like really heavy, and they insulate you really well, and then if you have one of these over top of it, it's like a perfect combo for cold weather, so. Uh, highly recommend it. Shabrowski says, uh, Equip, I sent you a message on Bandcamp. No rush, not super important whenever you have a chance. Huh, I didn't see it. I don't think I have emails turned on for Bandcamp, but I'll check in my app. Thank you for letting me know. Crewneck64, or <laughs> uh, saying the hood is so nice. Worth every penny for sure. Uh, yeah, everyone loves the hoodies. Just got my Cursebreaker vinyl today. Oh, thanks for the support, 8RB1. Really appreciate it. Hope you dig it. I couldn't stop staring at it spinning. Yeah, I think it looks really cool with spinning, Sefi. I also really appreciate the support. Uh, can't wait to pick up I Dream of a Palace in the Sky. Yeah, Arizona t God, that one's gonna be first in the reissue chain, so I'm not sure um, when exactly uh, that will be dropping, but it will be dropping soon. Uh, Fighting Island says Chicago's locking down again on Monday. Damn, I gotta run my errands. This weekend, uh, I gotta get some new, um, I gotta get an SSD from Micro Center to uh, install some games on. I just got my uh, my RTX 3080 video card. I'm so excited, and I haven't really even gotten a chance to play with it that much yet. I've been uh, back in Rockford helping out my, uh, my poor daddy broke his leg, so I went back and helped finish the tiling project and took him to a couple doctor's appointments with my mom. And uh, so yeah, I've been kind of around there the past week. I just got back last night, so I'm excited to to like strap up and, and get ready for the lockdown with uh, with some new PC games. I'm really excited for Cyberpunk. Uh, oh, Ghost Diamonds here. Tech and James here to say what's up, what's up, boys. Miss you guys. Effective Monday as the nice uh, champion. Quips drip tips. <laughs> this is a good one. 
All right, um, cool. Well, let's uh, let's get into the gaming. Uh, I got Burn Cycle queued up and ready, and this is just like peak cool like Y2K aesthetic. So we're gonna get into some games right now, and this is kind of um, touted as one of the killer apps for the Philips CDI, uh, if there are any. <laughs> this might be the only one, so. Uh, yeah, let's just start a new game and see where this takes us. And uh, ah, this is gonna be really confusing, controlling the CDI with the mouse and then using my regular mouse to like keep track of the chat. But let's get this up here. I'm just gonna center that. And look at the Twitch VOD and not the, uh, or not, not not the VOD yet, but look at the Twitch window and not the OBS window. So let's go to new game. Uh, once again, this is streaming on real hardware on a real Philips CDI, and I'm using the real uh, legit Philips CDI mouse that I bought with your stream donations. And I've never played this game with the mouse before, but. I have a feeling it's going to be kind of the only way to do it. Because uh, like I said before, it was really, really hard to play with a controller. Cutter. Come in, Cutter. What's happening? Are you alright? I tried to think, but my thoughts raced around with nowhere to go. It was like someone had put a shotgun upside my head and blown a hole clear through my brain. Wow. Cutter. Me, Sounds like Enigma. Real hacker shit. Alert, burn cycle, activate. Uh oh. Okay. I'm okay. The data must have packed it all. I, I got a sudden shock rush. It's been made. Just get out of there and fast. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's check out the map, I guess. Well, it looks like I got some company. Position locked, direction calculated, direction locked. Wow, okay. Only in the right channel, huh? I wondered if that was me, just me or not. Let me try to jiggle the cords here. It might be my OSSC. Mm-hmm, let's see. SCART is a funny connector. Sometimes it, if it's just barely off, it'll, it won't work. So let me jiggle these wires here and see if that does anything. I did move my cart around a little bit. Fixed? Cool. Yeah, I just had a loose SCART plug there. Okay. Talk to me, goddamn you. Where are you? So I guess you're like a computer, you're like some future computer hacker. But you gotta like attach your brain to the computer or something. I don't know. It's a little obtuse. I got him. Nice. Armed personnel detected in vicinity. I'm tracking heavy movement in the tunnels. Lock and load. Lock and load. All right. Got him. Sweet. It's so much easier with the map, or with the uh, mouse. Okay, where is my exit? I guess I should go over here, maybe? By this TX thing? Uh, huh. So I'm gonna go straight, and then right, and then take another right, and then we'll check the map again. Oh, Commodore asks, will the OSSC Pro ever come out? I've been looking forward to that for like a year. As soon as they announced it, I've been so excited for it. Um, 
but yeah, I don't know. I think that the uh, they they said that COVID really affected their supply chain. So I don't know. Maybe sometime in 2021. Fingers crossed. Definitely have to jack into the mainframe here. <laughs> Sounds like Maggie Dot Wave says Fighting Island. You know, I've been meaning to listen to Maggie Dot Wave. I have not yet. Um, you know, live, laugh, learn kung fu says Agro Craggle. That's great. Uh, Arena Wave. Yeah, I heard that's the one to to check out. Uh, Molotovich. We're all gonna learn kung fu from watching this. Says Shabrowski. This is great. I'm digging this so far. So let's proceed forward. I guess that dude just respawned. Did I get him? Sweet. Hit detection's a little wonky, but it looks like it's gonna work out in my favor. Nice. <laughs> You've got to get to the roof. Oh, this is bad. Real bad. Vectroid vibes, says Ed Jr. Yeah, for sure. Did I get him? Yes. Yeah, this is kind of like a rail shooter, but it's like a point and click rail shooter. here or what? Check the map. Okay, so I need to go back. And it's like one step at a time. Cutter, come in, Cutter. What's happening? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's go this way. It's a very awkward control scheme. Okay, now can I turn? Yeah, this game was like fucking impossible with a regular controller. So much better with the mouse. I'm actually kind of enjoying this. <laughs> Spy Kids vibe, says Arizona T God. Absolutely. So, oh my god. Some shark boy and lava girl type shit. Wow. Oh! Nice. Nailed his ass. Come on! Okay, let's go in here. Oh! That's not what I wanted to do. Nice, did I make it? This is the farthest I've ever gotten in this game. The music is amazing. Love it. Oh. Scroll speed is so slow. Covered a lot of ground there, I like that. Come on, Cutter! Run! Come on, faster! Faster, <laughs> Cutter! Come on, run! Please, come on, run! No! Holy shit, that was... Oh my god, that's gratuitous. What? Oh my god. I'm like shocked and amazed that that happened. Now what? It looks like you're playing a game with a DVD remote control. Yeah, absolutely. That's what it feels like, to be honest. This mouse is not the most responsive. Uh-huh, okay. Can I get to my map again? That'd be sweet. Looks like this is a dead end. 
Uh, Sevi S says, Time Crisis 2 become rare? I don't know, I don't think so. I bought the big box version for like 15 or 20 bucks not too long ago. I don't know, I guess that was a couple of years ago now. Game prices have changed a lot in a couple of years. Uh-huh, okay. I wish I could pull up the map again. Let's see, maybe I have to interact with this door. Can I? No. Okay. I <laughs> remember George Lopez in Shark Boy and Lava Girl. I've never seen Shark Boy and Lava Girl, but um, I was kind of surprised that those were directed by Robert Rodriguez. I guess he realized that all of his movies were violent and like he didn't have any movies he could show his kids. So he did like Spy Kids and Shark Boy and Lava Girl. And like he, his kids are named like like Rocket Rodriguez and like Racer Rodriguez, and he's he's got really ridiculous names for all of them. Then he left it all behind to cheat on his wife with Rose McGowan on the set of uh, what was that movie? Uh, Planet Terror or whatever. Despicable. <laughs> oh, what the hell? What? Where did that guy come from? Damn. Okay. Uh, yeah, Time Crisis 2 is sick. Um, you can set it up. I've got two copies for PS2, and you can set it up on two PS2s and on two TVs. And I've got two light guns, so like me and my roommate will play um, like arcade style. Did I? save or anything, or do I have to start from the beginning? That was, man, this game was just getting really good. I guess I gotta do a new game. I gotta figure out how to save here. <laughs> Damn. Can I skip this? No. We're not going to talk about on the Tuesdays what happened on the Tuesday Kata. stream. <laughs> I'm going to pretend like I didn't see that. I thought we made that private. The VOD still up. I tried to think, but my thoughts raced around Damn. with nowhere to go. It was like someone had put a shotgun upside my head and blown a hole clear through my brain. Wait, isn't Robert Rodriguez making that Kata. movie that is coming out in like 2115? I'm not sure if he'll still be alive in 2115. Rodriguez has confirmed that Spy Kids and Machete take place in the same universe. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, this seems hard. It's it's harder to control than um, it is to play. I'm okay. <laughs> the data must have packed it all. I, I got a sudden. Jimbargo, what's up? There's no TGA. I'm curious as to what your favorite console of all time is. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to say the Sega Saturn or God, it's such a it's a, such a tie up between the PS1, the Super Nintendo, and the Sega Saturn. I think if I had to just like pick one console for like to have an EverDrive for and just get rid of all the other ones, I'd probably pick the Super Nintendo. It's just like the closest to my childhood and um, my earliest memories of gaming. So I, I guess if I had to pick one at gunpoint, I'd pick uh, Super Nintendo. But PS1 is also very near and dear to my heart. And um, I probably have more PS1 games in my collection than any other system. And then also uh, uh, Saturn, you know, I, I didn't even discover Saturn stuff till like 2016 when I got mine. And uh, it just totally blew my mind. I actually just got a mode for Saturn. It's the uh, optical drive emulator. I'm really, really excited uh, to install it. I've spent all day just kind of configuring it and getting all the files set up. Talk to me, God damn you. Where are you? So maybe next week we'll play some real games. How about that? All right. Well, now I kind of know where the enemies are going to be. Um... 
Heodirum, I died. And I hadn't found a safe point yet, so I'm just dead, dead. I'm tracking heavy movements in the tunnels. Lock and load. Okay. So let me check this again. So we go straight. Right, right. And then I guess a left. seems like one of those games where you really gotta like memorize the enemy locations and stuff. It's pretty forgiving as far as the enemy encounters go. Like I'm just kind of shooting around them and it's it's registering a hit so that's cool with me Cutter. Come in, Cutter. what's happening Are you all right? what's his name connor or carter i can't tell oh choose the virus icon from the inventory that displays the map they're the save game menu thanks commodore Okay. <laughs> Damn. Damn it, they got me again. Shit. I should have saved. Ah, should we keep playing this game or should we freaking play one of those bad Zelda games? Or should we play Girls Club, the fantasy dating game? I feel like we've already spent a good chunk of time on Burn Cycle. I like this game a lot, but uh, there's a lot of stuff to get through. And I think next week we want to do, like, real games. <laughs> oh, sweet, I can, I can skip. All right, let me just try to speed run this and get a little bit farther. So if I hit both of the mouse buttons at once, it skips, which I like. This game is sick. This is the, honestly the best CDI game I've played so far. This guy's gonna pop out right here. Boom, boom. Got your ass. Go forward. Go to the right, come on, come on. Yeah, where did that guy even come from? There's like a drop off right there. Kada. Kada. Kana. Kada. See, that one, I feel like he definitely hit me. But I'm not gonna complain. Okay, well, after I get into this next area here. Yeah, where did that guy come from either? There's like no room and he just jumps right in front of me. fast. Okay. This takes me a while to... Okay, what is this? Okay, here's the virus, I think. Okay, save. Ah, the mouse is so nice. I kinda wish I were on a desk though. If you guys saw my setup, you'd be not 
impressed. I'm using like a music stand basically. It's not the best setup. Nick Taylor says, I don't think a speed run is possible. Just pick between FF7, The <laughs> Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Chrono Cross. Yeah, that's seriously a really tough choice right there. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the N64 Zelda games. Run, come that's on, a controversial faster. opinion, I know, Fire but I think that almost out of all the Zelda come games, on, they've aged the worst. I mean, that's, I'm not saying I don't like them, I'm just saying that, like, overall, in the, in the general scheme of Zelda games, I feel like they have not stood up to the test of time as well as all the other installments, because they're all so good. Okay, let's save here. So I got a virus in my brain, dormant period remaining. It is like in real time, you got two hours to do this, huh? Alright, I feel better now that I've saved. So I think that other side was a dead end. I do think Majora's Mask is a cool concept. I like the time traveling aspect. I like that, or not the time traveling aspect, but the, the moon falling down thing. I think that's pretty cool. With the timer. Maybe I have to use that thing I have on this door. Let's see if that works. virus or this bomb thing. Uh, now it's ticking. <laughs> this is where that fool popped out and capped me before. Won't let it happen again, or will I? Cannon versus Skull Kid. Okay, I let it happen again. Well, this is pretty sweet, but um, I am gonna switch games, because why not? So yeah, let's uh, let's get Girls Club going. I'm pretty curious to see how bad this one is. I want to save at least an hour to do the bad Zelda games because um, I've played a little bit of like Wand of Gamelon, but I've never played Link Faces of Evil, uh, and I've never played Zelda's Adventure, and they've got to be just nice and terrible. So. Okay, Girls Club, let's go. I cannot get the fast song out of my head. Haha, <laughs> riveting. It's an endless uh, three note arpeggio. All right. Look at these cute little polar cans I got. It's uh, uh, pixie lights. Damn, this is vapor as hell already. Johnny said he kissed her. Michael hasn't called. Dennis was suspended. He was surfing in the hall. <laughs> Jennifer, like Jay said, Tracy says she knew. Get everyone Damn. together. Only one thing they can do. I'm definitely gonna make a Philips CD out of Wave mixtape. This is going on there for sure. This is so sick. Yeah, drums are hitting for sure. Right. 
Seppi Star Chat says we finally got Ramin at, at a local at my local supermarket. So I've been drinking more sodas than I should lately. Yeah, those are really fun. I love to pop the little marble down. Watch it fizz up. This is a bop. Awesome will return after this message from Kraft Foods. <laughs> What's up, Kern77? Thanks for joining. This gives me the vibes from Mary Kate and Ashley Pizza Party song. Absolutely, yeah, girl. Yeah. Sweet Blossom Hat, indeed. This is the longest like intro to a shitty FMV game I've ever seen. Um, general chat poll. What's more fun, watching incredibly shitty games or watching Dream good games? <laughs> it's Daryl. He's cute. He's cool. And he looked at me. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are here. I mean, gotta go. Bye. Well, I'm so glad you guys. Oh, I just realized I'm sending audio from both the capture card and the mixer. I should probably guys. turn that one off. Might make it a little easier to hear me. If you play your cards right, the date with the one you choose just could turn into a dream date. Hey, it'll be a blast. But first things first, and that means you've got to tell me. <laughs> okay, so it looks like the general one, consensus is two, three, shit games are more fun to watch. More. It's kind of great because, you know, I don't like to use my own quality spare time to, you know, play shitty games. But it is really fun to stream them for y'all. Go with three here. All right, it's. Oh, you do know the rules of the game, right? No. If you do, pick the charms and we'll get playing. But if you don't, just move the sparkles over to the help button. Sweet. Well, I'm gonna move the charms over to the help button. This is like the laggiest control ever. Uh, define your dream okay. date. Everybody's define gotta your nightmare up, date. Only gonna go through the rules Meet four once. gorgeous guys. Everybody starts by Pick telling us like about the their best. perfect dream guy. Guess who the others And the type chose. of guy that makes them want to barf. <laughs> During each Kirk round, is equal one we'll charm. Most charms your four at choices. the end of the game wins like the best date. What they like, what they definitely don't like, and what other people think about them. And last but not least, what they dream about being Fighting I will like shitty games with commentary and good games yeah. without. <laughs> VGM Wax's graphics will never get better than this. Yeah, I think it probably seemed like that at the time. So far. Then they choose which guy they think the other players are going to pick as their dream date. Each I hope she sings more instructions like that. Me too. Guess. Whoever has the most charms at the end of the game, ta-da, wins the best date. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Each player goes out on a date with the guy she has picked most often during the game. And how the date goes depends on how close this guy is to the dream date she describes at the beginning of each round. Ren and Stimpy Vibes, close, says Poor Defender 13. <laughs> he's not so close, Absolutely. it could turn into a real, well, you know what I mean. That's it, that's enough. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's play. Let's play. What are we waiting for? Kern77 says, man, the intro to the stream is golden. I'm going to catch right. up to the stream. Three of you. Cool. You want to play it as a trio? Or do you want to add one more? Uh. Which one of these pixelated people should I add? I can barely even select. This is so bad. The control is like... I just barely move the mouse and it's over to the other side of the screen. I'm just going to hit the charm. Sure. God, just let me click on one of them, please. How you doing? I'm Keisha. There's no telling about me. I'm real unpredictable. And no, I haven't found the right guy. Yet. Like, I'm not trying to say I don't like him, but I'm interested in sports and other things. Other but things. you make it a game and I'm in. 
You better watch yourself, girls. When I get going, I surprise even myself. Sounds good. I like Keisha. What do I think about toys? <laughs> I'm crazy about them. <laughs> yes, all of them. But sometimes I can't figure out who's best for me. There's Cody, who really makes me laugh. And Mike, are his eyes just the biggest and bluest? But if I could go out with Donnie, I swear I'd never look at anyone else. Wow. Although, Justin could make me break that promise. Oh yeah, I'm Monica. So are we supposed to be like memorizing this? I'm gonna have a really hard time with this. I'm Courtney, of course. This party's going to be a class act now that I'm here. Imagine paying like, like full that. price. Head Monica's last party. $59.99 for this game. My party would have been crammed with gorgeous guys who bring you presents and who know what to talk about. Me. <laughs> oh, but enough about me. <laughs> yeah, Rose Hat is a predator, says Commodore. Absolutely. Yeah, I've got you figured out. Rose has several boys in her basement. I think so too, Fighting Island. <laughs> What's up, George? Okay, girls, time to pick your charm. I don't care who picks <laughs> first, but let's get going. All right. Star. Monica raids her parents' liquor cabinet and takes her mom's boon farm, Boone's farm. Oh my god. Take the green goo pile. Okay, one last thing before we launch, <laughs> figuring out what our dream dates are wearing. We gotta decide who goes first. To be fair, I'm going to use only my most favorite cootie catcher. <laughs> Cute, huh? Wow. I haven't seen one of those in years. Cootie Teeny catcher, meeny, huh? Miney Mo, dream date time, and away we go. I guess I've heard you that term. But we used to call them fortune tellers. Second. Third. Third. Last. It's like the audio file got cut off. <laughs> this game is gold. Wow. Okay, enough fantasy. Let's take a look at the real guys that you're going to get to choose from. Now, I'll get us started. Let's take a look. Here's the first four guys. <gasps> I still don't even know how to play this game. I listened to the description, but... I'm just, I'm just vibing here. What do you think? Hmm. Cute or not? Cute? Get them now. Lock in any of the ones you like before you spin again. All right, who's not the cutest guy here? Spin on. I'm thinking, uh... Damn, if I can even move the remote. What do y'all think? Number two? Middle left, that was my thought too, Zephy. Second to left. Yeah, that seems like the consensus here. That was my first pick. If I can even hover over him, come on. And then, uh, who's second best? Hunk in the pink shirt. Uh, computer nerd or leather jacket guy. Number three, I'm thinking. Second hottest. Oh, no, I didn't mean to pick him. Come on. This is so hard to control. Hmm. <laughs> right hand side or left hand side? I wouldn't even want to be friends with these guys. Let's go with them. First guy just looks like he's about to like pour milk down your shirt or something. He looks like a prankster. Well, more interesting picks. All right. Pick the clock. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. All right. The way I 
figure it. On this planet, <laughs> they all are ghosts. It's like an octopus. <laughs> Mr. Dream. Whoa, I've got to dress him fast. Oh, no. Oh, I love that part. Now it's Damn, that's a George Clanton outfit right there. Far right looks like AC Slater, says Blendalicious. <laughs> totally. They're all scary, says Rainy Cakes. It's four of the same dude okay, in different heart. lighting, that's says Agro. Dream, dude. Oh my god. That shirt's tight. Hell yeah. Let's go back to the Skechers. Actually, the boots are kind of sick. Or the loafers? Are those loafers? I can't even tell. Yeah, that's that's a fly fit right there. Yeah, definite homecoming material. Hell yeah. Okay, Star, it's your turn to dress your fantasy guy. <laughs> Where's the creative guy in the purple beret? So I think this is supposed to be like you and your girlfriends all get together and play this game. Hell yeah. A suede cowboy over I here. I have to steal this guy for myself. How you gonna dress your dream guy, Diamond? You're up. So yeah, this is definitely like a multiplayer game. That I'm just playing single. Let's, let's do goth for this one. Dressing your dream date and your disaster uh, death will be a blast. All you have to do is point the remote at the CDI player. Then, using the thumbstick, toggle through the selection of shirts. When you see the shirt you want, all you I have do have to a CDI remote, but I can't figure out how to get it to sync to the CDI. Next, I found the remote at a thrift store. Pants. And finally, for shoes. Let yourself go. Give it a whirl. Be creative. But better be true to yourself. After all, you may wind up on a date with him. Oh, yeah. Sure. Well, he's certainly not my dream, but <laughs> that's what makes us fun. Clover, what's Mr. Perfect wearing this season? Hmm. Nice. Okay, now meet Mr. Dud. What's the most hideous <laughs> outfit I could possibly put on you? <laughs> yes, totally excellent. Oh, please, somebody call the fashion police and give this geek a ticket. <laughs> okay, now, think you can outdo me? Heart, it's your turn. Dress your worst nightmare. Worst nightmare. Hmm. Let's go with the... Oh! I want that jersey. We'll go for jock style here. What the hell? Now there's only two choices? Okay. What is it? The boots or the chucks? Oh, let's go with these orange slides. Definitely the worst dud I have ever seen. <laughs> The pressure's on, Star. You've got your work to do. Eek out. Hmm. 
Your worst, huh? Yeah, let's go with the Letterman jacket. Yeah, those pants are cool as hell. The, weather, the Letterman jacket with the grass skirt, I think. And the Chuck Taylors. You're right. Pretty geeky. <laughs> okay, wow. Diamond, you're on. So this is supposed to be worst outfits, I guess. Let's go with the ill-fitting shirt. Actually, that's kind of cool, but I don't have many choices here. That's a kind of a cool fit, I'm not going to lie. Well, I see what you mean. A real <laughs> nightmare. Oh. Wake up, Clover. You're up. Oh, thanks, what Agro. What is wearing in your book? Equip has hair goals length. I actually am due for a trim. Oh, my ends are getting kind of split again. just happens okay school's in and we've got to find our four guys can you believe it you get to meet each of the guys you picked and choose your dream come true just remember one girl's dead is another hey, girl you have to go so through a uh, a really awkward phase to get it this long okay guys you're on give us your best opening shot Come on, Blake. Talk to us. So we don't like this guy, right? Boy, that felt great. That may have looked dangerous, but it's not. Because all of this neat stuff is fake. Just like you see in the movies. Now watch this. I save my best stunt for last. Hey! These are my fake bricks. Is there a nurse in the house? Yeah. <laughs> Not it's sure about that guy. From Patrick. So this is the universally acclaimed hottie, Four. right? Oh, here's the artistic guy. Notebooks full of pain. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear my latest work? Hair like an ape. Feet like a centipede. <laughs> I'd collab with him. This is Seffy Starshot. True form of a non linear interpretation of my collective being. Wow. Uh, now, if I can only figure out what in the world that means. So, all these guys are just dorks. How about you, Johnny? <laughs> I never thought I'd agree to wear this outfit. But I actually like playing Romeo. I mean, you know, I could still use some practice. With it's Bobby Briggs from Twin Peaks. Of accompanying me <laughs> to the beach where thou can help me run my lines and then partake in a game of volleyball. Wow. Hey, Romeo. Here's Jess. <laughs> I wrote this song just for you. Oh, my baby's looking awful sweet. This guy's the coolest. <laughs> she smells real good, but is not petite. <laughs> it's Dorian Electra, this fighting island. <laughs> cow. My baby is a sweet brown cow. 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 Uh, he's in a vaporwave. I guess I have to work out a few bugs. Shit, my clip on fell off. Oh, this guy is definitely Mr. Sincere. But no pizzazz. Hmm. Pretty bleak scene out there in the uh, dating world. I knew you were here somewhere. What do you think? You here? <laughs> well, it's funny how unpredictable people's tastes are. I mean, as we've just found out, 
Some of the guys you picked seem really different from the way they looked. Yep. Remember, just because someone looks to die for doesn't mean they're the right guy for you. Okay, girl. Got that right. It's time for your first choice. Which one of the four guys would you just like, like real life based on what you know so far? Now, <laughs> gabbing about your choice because this has to be a secret vote. Uh, you know what? I've actually I kind of like the cowboy hat dude now. Heart, who makes you flutter? So I think this would be a lot more fun if we actually had people to play with. I can't even see my cursor now, but I feel it moving around. So Star, who's the one you're wishing on? Wow. How about you, Diamond? Who are you sweet on? I'm just gonna push the general direction. Who's the lucky guy, Clover? No doubt about it, but hey, I deserve the best. Wow. Whoa, the votes are in. Way to go. So now <laughs> it's time to get down to the nitty gritty and get Imagine an equip two. plus Vectroid well, track. That would be cool. Right. I would love to work you with Vectroid. Time for your bracelet. So, let's get on with the fun. Clearly need to play together on Yoga at desktop night. Yeah, for sure. If I could get to Philly while the boys were all still there, I would love to do that. Bring my CDI with. Yo, Brick Dinosaur Jimmy. How's it going, buddy? After watching Virtual Utopia, I feel like I need more equip X Esprit You're George. Right? Yeah, I would what love to do say about the other players uh, maybe another track and do like a 7-inch or a 12-inch or something. Maybe kind of a... Another, there's some other banging tunes on, uh, Star, who's with who? On the, uh, to you. Unreal Tournament soundtrack, so I think that would be kind of cool. So I'm just clicking shit here. I really don't, I mean, I think this is, you know, for multiple players, so. How about you, Diamond? Who do you All is well in Equipland, Brick Dinosaur Jimmy. Thanks for asking. Yeah, Nymphia 64, she's uh, extremely hard to get a hold of. Like, I know some people that know her, but like, the, you know, I don't really have a direct line or anything, and okay, I sure, highly Clover. doubt she would just What's take a... Conclusion? I'm sure she gets, like, pick? you know, bombarded by collab requests all the time, oh, so... I think she would actually I want to exactly do it. She would want to have to do it. Uh, before I reached out, you know, if, if that ever happened. Hmm, interesting. But I kind of got my hands full right now. I'm super busy. Oh, well, I guess you want to see too, huh? Well, not just with music stuff, but just like real life stuff and. Check out who Hard thinks has got all of you walking on air. Maybe someday. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Here's who Star thought everyone else chose. <laughs> Let's take a look. At yeah, I think we're getting to uh, the point of diminishing fun returns here. Uh, this is really okay. fun to play around with, Let's but I'm going to keep it moving here. All of you had your sights set. Um, especially because we're got an hour left, and there's oh, three Zelda the games. Moment of truth. Who did everybody actually? Uh, plus this mutant rampage body slam and this Tetsuo Gaiden shmup. Um, I got to see how bad this this CDI shmup is. It's got to be just unexcusably terrible so let's give it a shot i have a feeling we'll be turning it off within like 10 15 minutes and then um then maybe we can go to the zelda games i should have gotten a i don't know what i need to get this cdi tray open but maybe like uh some plastic tongs or something it's really hard because I, you know, I clip my nails almost every day after I get out of the shower. I keep them pretty short, so it's 
it's really hard. It's the CDI tray is like stuck in there and I have to like physically like clamp onto it and then like pull it out. Uh, Pete House is loving your hoops. Thank you so much. They're fake. They're clip-ons. I've uh, been trying to get my ears pierced, but um, doesn't seem like the best time to go to like a piercing or a tattoo place. Uh, I have a friend that said that she would do it, but um, I need to like buy some nice like stainless steel studs to put in. And I'm not sure when she's free, so still need to make an appointment with somebody to get it done. Okay, Tetsuo Gaiden for the Philips CDI. I'm gonna switch back to the Philips CDI controller here. Dear God. Tetsuo Gaiden. Gaiden, huh? It's kind of like a uh, curse breaker Gaiden. A white boy pronunciation. Let's rock here. Oh, damn. Sick menu music. Love it. Uh, okay, let's get five lives, two players. This is quite a bit louder than the last game. I turned it down a little bit. Holy shit. It's a shmup. So I can't move forward, only left and right. <laughs> Score increase. It sounds like the Unreal Tournament announcer. Score increase. I really wish I had rapid shot. Get ready. Oh, God. So I guess that's a good power up. Those bullets are so tiny, you can barely see them. I can't tell if the background is like just a, it's probably just a pre-rendered FMV. I doubt it's like actual polygonal. Wow. Ready Player One, my favorite movie. Just kidding, I've never seen it. Don't have a whole lot of interest in it, but this is wild. I can't believe somebody made a shmup where you can't move like around the screen, like only left and right. It's kind of like they thought it would be okay because Space Invaders did it. Score decrease. Ah. Oh. What? There's power-ups that decrease your score. The music isn't terrible, but it's pretty bad, subjectively. I like the break beats. <laughs> I think I'd rather just watch the background or something. Yeah, I agree, Port Defender. The background's not even really that interesting. Yeah, the rate of fire is just pathetic. I'm really hammering that button, and there's like one bullet coming out for every three button presses. I'm not sure if the programmers played any other shmups. I think they were really just banking on the uh, FMV in the background being like the selling point here. Or just the fact that there was like something other than an edutainment or an FMV game. I, I gotta love the cheesy announcer voice though. Score increase. Score decrease. Score increase. This is totally like Unreal Tournament style announcer plus like quasi acid techno rave soundtrack. 
floor decrease. Somewhat ahead of my uh, of its time, I guess. I can't tell what's gonna decrease my score and what's increasing it. Score decrease. Like you think a star would increase your score. Oh wow, I actually got all of them. Yeah, where's my turbo switch? Oh, that's the pause button. So it looks like there's only one button here. I think if you let the- oh, damn it. If you let the enemies escape, it's a decrease. Sounds like a deep voice vampire from like a Blade movie. I agree. You know what's a banging tune is the that vampire dance club song in the first blade at the intro. That was the first song I downloaded from Kazaa. Or increase. Do do ba do 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 CDI was really big in like like 94, 95. Well, not really big, but just you know on the market. You know, at least it doesn't start you off at the beginning of the stage when you die, because that's just the worst. I have a really hard time playing like really brutal shmups that do that to you. It just seems so cruel. Kaza, preach. Yeah, who all remembers the Kaza days? I never quite had a fast enough internet connection for Napster. I do remember my friend showing it to me and being just blown away that you could download music online and not have to like go to Best Buy and buy the CD. Uh, but yeah, my progression went Kaza, um, then LimeWire. Get ready. And I got all kinds of interesting viruses from LimeWire. Then, uh... That kind of started to dry up, and then... I think I messed with BearShare for a little bit. Get ready. And then we finally got DSL, and then my friend showed me Torrents, and I was just blown away. Um, I did Soulseek for a while too in the early days and then Torrents and the stuff I couldn't find on Torrents I would look for on Soulseek and then eventually I got invited to Oink's Pink Palace invite only Torrent site Alright, we're not gonna waste any more time with this game. That was just painful Not even painful in a good way um, So yeah, I had Oink's Pink Palace and then that got shut down and then I got Waffles, and then I think, didn't Waffles get shut down? I don't know, it seemed like there wasn't enough new stuff coming on there. Uh, a friend of mine used what.cd, but I never got an invite. And then, um, then I went back to Soulseek, and I kind of had just been using Soulseek ever since. It's pretty good, it's pretty reliable. And they have pretty much everything that I've ever needed which is great. All right, we gotta try out Mutant Rampage Body Slam, because I heard this is also one of the best, like most playable games on the console. So let's try out Mutant Rage Body Slam. <sighs> Nymphia 64 says Kaza, LimeWire, Napster. I couldn't tell you my first Napster download. Says <laughs> Edgar Craggle. Maybe Corn. I switched to K-Lite at some point. I've never heard of that one. For me, it was BearShare Alpha, Support Offender, Acquisition or Bust. Never tried Acquisition. Soulseek is the truth. Absolutely, Commodore. Once I found Soulseek, I never looked back. Gotta agree with you, Shabrowski. And Napster, but for me, BearShare was awesome. LimeWire was more dangerous. Roll the dice on every download. Yeah. I love it when you try to download music and you get an EXE. All right. Live 7. Let's turn down that difficulty to Wimpy. So you get Wimpy, Savage, and Insane. 
Let's do Wimpy. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do Savage. I ain't no Wimp. They got me here. Peak piracy experience. <laughs> For a bear share, I guess you're talking about. Audio Galaxy to Kaza to Soulseek to DC++ to BitTorrent. Now I'm back on Soulseek, says Sefi. Yeah. Beijing Fire Dragons, Anamorpho Roma, LA Free Radicals. Let's go with LA Free Radicals here. Do you use Soulseek just for music? Yes, I do, Pitao. This is Wolf Jam with Body Slam. We got a new team on the block, the Naturals. Sounds like the, uh... Humans, not hybrid, not mutant, not bionic. Listen up while I turn them out. Ah, uh, what's the announcer's name? He's on American Graffiti. Let's go to Tori Swift. This is LA. We're ready to Arizona T got any updates on the Nameless Dreamers project? I'm excited to hear more from you guys. Yeah, we got a, a, a double single coming out soon. Um, we're still kind of tweaking the physical thing, but once that's out, then we'll start uh, planning the full length LP, which will probably be out on Yeti uh, at some point next year. So, yeah, we're still working on. Um, Nameless Dreamer stuff for sure. I mean, the album's been done for a while, and we kind of just want to get it out now. We had all these plans for singles, and they kind of, uh, the year got ahead of us. All right. Yes. It's a beat em up. It moves at like, what, 12 frames per second, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> Oh my god, that jump is pretty insane. Nice. Damn. So it keeps restarting the music track every couple seconds, which is really annoying. <laughs> but it's kind of vaporwave. This is a game. I guess when you're talking about best games on the system, there's not a whole lot of competition, so I guess I'll say that yes, this is one of the best games on the Philips CDI so far. But yeah, there's not a whole lot of competition. If we're getting up close and personal, I'm just gonna like fly kick everybody. Ah, get out of here, you little imp. The music's kind of sick. Eat that chicken leg. <laughs> Those little golems all want a piece of me. I there's something special about how the CD track doesn't loop. It's really quite funny. Spew, what the hell is that? I need some spew. Surprisingly, it uh, refills your health. I would have thought otherwise. Whoa, what the hell? So I guess I did a special attack if I hit one and two at the same time. Tag peg. Oh cool, so I can tag in other, other hunks here. Hyper Police vibes. If heavy metal met Hyper Police. I've never seen Hyper Police. Is that a game or a TV show or a... Oh, cool, I got a spin move, too. I just use that. Yeah, this guy's pretty tight. I like that spin move. Whoa. Okay, I don't like the ones that drain your health. Let's get this big mug of beer. The flagon of ale. Full refill there, that's pretty good. What is that, like a hunk of meat? Oh, wow, I'm like using the, his head to beat his ass. This game is insane. Dobby in the ring says Fighting Island. <laughs> Sefi is the most hyped about Nameless Dreamers. I'm glad. We've got some, some more crazy physical stuff on the way. 
Uh, that's one I'm very excited about that's sitting in my closet right now. And uh, Mark is still working on the packaging, so we've got some art. We've got everything ready but the packaging, basically. Damn, that dude just flashed his ass and farted at me. Holy shit. I could reanimate this into a Hyper Police fame in like four months. Hyper Police game. <laughs> that and the new DDS. Yeah, I'm really excited for the new DDS too, Sefi. I've heard some little bits and pieces and it's, it's very exciting. All right, Stanky. I think the back and forth jump is just the way to do it. It doesn't really drain your health, but the hit detection is very poor. You really gotta be lined up. I'm kind of surprised that this exists and I hadn't heard of it before. I mean, I guess I'm not surprised because most of these CDI games are uh, a little bit obscure. You only really hear about like Hotel Mario and the Zelda games and Tetris to some extent, but I tag out here. Get rack sacks on in here. <laughs> not sure what's more disturbing: twin crackheads or buff dude in long sleeve leotards? Yeah. It is called Mutant Rampage Body Slam, so... I guess they're all supposed to be mutants? Damn. <laughs> Dobby in the ring, that's gotta be the funniest thing. <laughs> Full restore on the beer for sure. Man, I haven't had an IRL beer in so long. It sounds really good. This is just like Batman Returns on the SNES and Genesis as Port Defender. I have never played Batman Returns. I've played the Adventures of Batman and Robin, which is actually pretty fun. I really like beating these guys up with their heads. I don't like getting farted on them. We need the announcer from the last game for this one, absolutely. I'm sure that game is better than this. It doesn't really take a whole lot to uh, to top any of these CDI games. Oh, this guy's name is Barf, look at that. Oh, nice, I got a lead pipe. Damn. Voluptuous. Her name's Precious. Ah. Poison Ivy look alike. Damn, just kicking my ass. Come on, give me a beer. That's ah, a one-up. I don't even want it, because I want this game to be over sooner than later, so we can play Zelda Faces of Evil. Yeah, this is a pretty... This is a, definitely a poor man's final fight, Streets of Rage. Has anyone played Yakuza 0? Pretty good game. At Junior, I watched my roommate play it, and uh, it looked really fun. It was pretty striking how well they nailed um, the Dotonbury uh, area of Osaka. It's, it's just like it is in, in real life, which is really cool because, you know, I, we didn't get to go there this year, and I was really, really missing Osaka specifically, so it was kind of fun to watch my roommate play that game because it really does give you the same kind of vibe. Um, has anyone here played these the Streets of Rage Yakuza crossover? It was only available um, for a day on Ooh. Steam. The free radicals just knock the socks off the natural. All right, it's Zelda time. <laughs> so fight, what's your analysis? It's Zelda time, ladies and gents. 
All right. Let's see. Link Faces of Evil, Zelda's Adventure, or Zelda Wand of Gamelon. Let's do Wand of Gamelon because it's got that famous animated cutscene. Drop that in there. Yeah, Streets of Kamarucho, Shibroski. Um, it was supposed to be only on Steam for a day. But if you find the Steam ID and just go to steam.com slash download slash paste the ID, it's still up there on the server. So you can still play it. I downloaded it yesterday. Um, I would, you know, if you have a PC and you're interested in playing it, I would probably grab it sooner than later because who knows how long they're going to host it on the server. There's also that Golden Axe game. It's like a canceled uh, Golden Axe prototype, like a 3D one. I haven't tried that one yet. What triggers the music to restart? I can't catch how your inputs are causing that. Is it totally random? It seems like an aggro craggle. Then again, I'm not sure what is like, I, like, I don't know, is my CD drive aging? Did the discs not burn properly? Like, is it a bad disc image? I'm just not sure. There's so many different, holy shit. This is the best Zelda music ever. Experiencing sensory overload room to room. My partner is bleaching her hair in the bathroom and listening to Rina Sawayama, and I'm doing Philip CDI and chill. Eat your heart out, Breath of the Wild. This is the definitive Zelda. Zelda, Duke yes. is under attack by the evil forces of Ganon. I'm going to Gamelon to aid him. But father, what if something happens to you? <laughs> I'll take the Prey Force of Courage to protect to me. If you don't hear from me in a month, send Link. Ampa? Don't worry, Zelda. The Triforce of Wisdom <laughs> promises the king will safely return. Enough. My ship sails in the morning. I wonder what's for dinner. <laughs> oh, oh boy! <laughs> I'm so hungry, I could eat an Octorok! <laughs> wow. Gold. A whole month gone, and still no word. I'm certain he's all right. Yeah, that old Ganon's no match for the king. Link, go to Gamelon and find my father. Great! I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos! <laughs> yes. Wake up, Impa. We're going Meme to... Meme the game. All right, dear. I'll get the Triforce of Wisdom. Impa seems so bothered to get up, even though both Link and the King are missing, and it's been, like, over a month. The world map music is pretty banging, I'm not gonna lie. This is why Link doesn't talk. <laughs> Dodongos! Holy shit. Okay, so that goes back out to the world map. We've seen the other side and we're not going back. It's funny to pretend this is canon. Okay, so first of all, I've got three buttons here. One hits the sword. One does nothing. And the other one does nothing, but you have to press up to jump. There's no dedicated jump button. You have to press up on the control pad to jump. And down to block. So to get into the menu, you have to go to down and hit two. Down and two. Even though there's two unused dedicated buttons. Got a hog chasing me. Die, motherfuckers. Oh shit. Tricked you. Hello. What the hell? Why did that pig take five hits to kill? All the other ones die in one hit and I whacked that guy like seven times. Oh my God. 
This is a treasure of a game so far. Uh, this is just what happens when Nintendo sells their IPs. All right, let's get in there. Oh, invisible bat. That's a Dodongo for sure. Okay, I gotta sneak up on this Dodongo. Nice. I felled the Dodongo. Now how do I get out of here? What was there to do in this cave? What am I jumping on? Can you see a platform? Dear God, I'm stuck in this fucking cave. Oh! Nice. So you have to press 2 to get out of the door. Wow. What's up? How do I talk to you? Oh, you gotta stab Everyone them. ran when the Gleok came, but monsters know better than bothering me. Here's a shroud that scares the raps off Gibdo. Okay. Death's dynamic shroud. Ooh. Okay, so now I have access to the whole total other side of the map. So I start here, and then I go all the way around to here for some reason. That makes sense, right? So let's go to the town. That's Lynx experimented on brother that never made it. Is this a... Wow. It's like hard to tell if this is supposed to be a... <laughs> traversable or... Like there's literally no indication of where you can and can't go. Damn, I just barely made it. Math theme's so good. Damn, come on. Physics. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Do I have unlimited continues? Because that's kind of tight. How do I block? It's ducking, it's not doing anything. Ooh, okay, I got a lantern. I knew that was an item that I could maybe pick up. What's up with this attic, though? Can I not do anything up here? They just put a ladder that leads to nowhere. I guess so. Oh boy, why can't you block? That's a great question, nah boy. I guess I can't block while I'm moving. That kind of makes sense. Oh, okay, so I can go up here if I just kind of skip upwards. I think I just have to be completely stationary and not moving to block. Which is fair. Let's go in this barn. That's completely dark. Let's use 
my lantern. Oh, I could use the shroud. So how do I use it? Okay, down, plus two. Down, two to get into the menu. But how do I actually select it? I'm gonna try one, doesn't work. Down, two, two, doesn't work. Down, two, three, doesn't work. So none of my buttons actually work. Okay. So maybe if I press like one and two at the same time, maybe if I press one and three at the same time. Oh my God. Well, I'm just gonna guess where the ladders are by pressing up continuously. Oh, looks like I got up. Come on, give me that motherfucking key. Up and three, maybe down and three. Ah, I really wish I could use this lantern that's in my inventory to light up this room. Oh, okay, I'm up another level. Is there a select button? No, no, there's no select button. That's all you get. A D-pad and three buttons. Man. Uh, Fighting Island, I did, I got your email. I have not opened it yet. Uh, I will open it though. Ugh. As soon as I get up these stairs. Gah! Jesus Christ. Yeah, I didn't, um, all I had were my, like, crappy earbuds, so I didn't really have anything good to listen to, uh, it on, so. Jesus. So... You know, it looks like I could almost just jump up and then... Damn it, I really need that key so I can get into that locked door. Maybe you need magic to use the lantern. That's a, yeah, that's pretty smart. Well, how about the shroud? Can I use that? It's dumbfounding that you have to press down and two to get into your inventory. Maybe if I press up and two, I can use the lantern. This is abysmal. Well, we got half an hour left and two more Zeldas to get through, so I think we're gonna call this one a wash. Unless I can get back out and hear that banging world map music one last time. Let's try it. I like how the arrows make like magical zapping sounds. The movement is just so janky. Fuck. Okay, this is all I wanted anyway. Let's check out the Tai Tai Go Taikogi Tower. Wash of Gamelon. Oh look, there's Impa. Impa, what are you doing? Oh my, it looks like everyone's been taken to Taikogi Tower. <laughs> this is illegal, you know. My cakes will burn. Who are these characters? Oh, everyone's been taken to Taikogi Tower. Oh, oh come on. Oh my, it looks like every Oh, 
it's an Octorok. Yes, yes. I'm so glad we got to see a Dodongo and an Octorok. If I defeat the Octorok, fuck, then today's a good day. <laughs> Legit sounds like a Kersberger X B-side. Not sure if that's an honor or a diss. <laughs> God! These Octoroks are fucking brutal. Damn it. Eat it. Eat the Octorok. Oh, thank you, Nah Boy. The Severe Mountain Path stage collectible is uh, is really cute. That was uh, Glenn from the Yeti's idea, and uh, we we were just like, yeah, sure, let's do it. Uh, I think there's a pretty limited a number of those, but um, it looks pretty good to me. Um, okay, yeah, fuck this game. Let's move on to the next shitty Zelda game. I only have 30 more precious minutes. Ah, my poor CDI disk drive slot. As soon as they make a, like, optical drive emulator for the CDI, I'm buying it. I, like, love and hate this console so much. All right, Faces of Link, Faces of Evil time. I think this one's live action, but I could be wrong. All right. Isn't Octorok the first Zelda enemy? Like, literally, li literally. I think so. I think in the NES game, like, Octoroks are the first things that you encounter. So, yeah. Octorok is no punk. Wow. Another great title screen. Yeah, pick that Seraph font. Let's go with that. So it looks good. Make sure to thank Nintendo in there. Wow. This is sick as hell. I had to look at my mixer to make sure that I wasn't adding that flanger. Damn. This Gee, it sure is boring around here. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. I just wonder what Ganon's up to. Your Majesty, Ganon and his minions have seized the island of Korodai. Hmm, how can we help? It is written, only Link can defeat Ganon. Great, hmm. I'll grab my stuff. There is no time, your sword is enough. How about a kiss for luck? You've got to be kidding. Lutris creep. Squadala, we are off. So wow. he has stuff. What are all those heads? These are the faces of evil. But he doesn't have time to grab it. Conquer each. I guess I'd better get going. Here is the map. Where do you <laughs> wish to go? Holy shit. So, uh, yeah. We're jumping right into the action here. I can't believe these games got made. What are all these heads? Oh, let's go over here. <laughs> Wait, Equip looks a lot like Link. Okay. Same shitty controls. Up to jump. One to slash. Let me guess, down B is menu. How did I know? Jesus. The soundtracks are really interesting. Like, they're not terrible, but they're not great. It's just so very unzelda like I mean, just about all of everything about this game is, so. Hit 
detection is just non-existent. I'm not even really worried about this pterodactyl because it doesn't really seem to be hurting me in any way. Oh, I'll eat my words now. Damn it. <sighs> Every enemy has red rupees. RIP the economy of Hyrule. <laughs> yeah, for real. So there's the plot for this one is uh, Link is bored and Ganon is just back. Oh, nice, I got him. And then now there's just faces of evil around the land. But there's little to no explanation about what these faces are. <sighs> it's so frustrating. The soundtrack has mixtape potential for sure, Sefi. You know I'm gonna have to do a, a Philips CDI wave. This one just sounds like they used like a uh, drum loop program like Stylus RMX and they just kind of just added a bunch of atmospheric pads to drum loops. So yeah, this is another one where it's like every like one of every three button presses actually triggers an action on screen. Like if I'm hitting up to jump, it's like it might or might not jump. Jesus Christ. This also has a banging world map song. This background is my favorite so far, a little Roman aqueduct. All right, now we're in an ice zone. This is just so wild to me that these games got made. Surely the reason why Nintendo has never licensed their IPs since. Oh, fuck. Whole cave of these bad boys. I feel like I just went into somebody's home and slaughtered them all. Jump! Oh. How do I get over there? Right on the edge? Give me that snowball. Nice. Okay, so there's absolutely nothing that was gained from doing that. I killed all the enemies in this igloo, and I did not get a single thing. <sighs> what good is all the money? Need some hearts. Yeah, for real. I gotta wonder, like, what must it have been like for, like, a child who, you know, was like, oh, wow, my mom got me this new system from Philips. It plays CD games. It's got a new Zelda game, you know, like, after playing the, the NES Zeldas and then, like, playing this and being like, oh, my God, this is the new Zelda game? So sad. Wow, I wasn't sure if I was actually going to be able to land on the igloo. So I got these snowballs. I got these snowballs, man. But I don't know what they're used for at all. Oh, a key! Surely that will be of some use to me if I ever figure out how to use it. Oh. Oh yeah, this isn't 
too standard for Nintendo at all. Yeah, this is messed up. This is some bad quality control here. Okay, so I got a key. Do I still have it? I've got these snowballs. Oh, sweet, okay. So I can throw them with the two button. I've got projectiles, that's really nice. But they uh, appear to clank like metal on the uh, oversized rodent's heads. So, not sure if they're much use. Oh! Dark Souls like. Wait, counter, parry. Alright, let's go talk to Rama down here. Help! <sighs> Ganon froze the fountain. I'm stuck. She looks pretty cold. Okay. So how do I... Oh my god. I can't even hurt those guys. Best interior so far. <laughs> Breaking my heart, says Sega Octopus. Jesus. This is also abysmal. Okay, well... I got a key that I don't know where it leads to. There's some indestructible Wendigos blocking my path. Couldn't progress any further there. And I could not get any further in that aqueduct, so we're gonna we're gonna play the one last bad Zelda game and then call it a night. And then maybe after this I can go drown my sorrows in a bong rip and play some like control or Metro Exodus or like a really sweet game on my RTX 3080. <laughs> Gotta like wash the taste of this out of my mouth. Just terrible. All right, Zelda's adventure. Ooh, we're going for an adventure, y'all. Let's see. Let's see what the what Phillips has in store for us for one last game of the night. There are three Agro Craggle. Can you believe that? I do love that boot up though. It's really good. Oh yeah. Wow. Cool logo. Maybe this is the live action. Oh, it's in stereo. Forget about those mono games, kids. We got stereo. What's in the coos? Good question, Fighting Island. It's a polar. It's a polar tart cherry limeade. And it's delicious. Sweet. All right, this is the best title screen by far. They actually have a stylized font. Wow. <laughs> Mom, I'm getting a job at Verdis. <laughs> oh. There will yes. be no more viewing tonight. Ah, the scroll of Shamak, bearer of sad news these many years ago. <laughs> And so it was that Ganon, Lord of Darkness, had taken over Tolemac. He had stolen the treasured celestial signs and captured Link. A brave warrior would have to be found to face this evil monster. See you, Ed Jr. Have a nice night. You know, I gotta give credit to these games for, like, having, like, Zelda step up to save Link. That's the one redeeming factor. And so 
I found this champion of strength and courage. It is you, Princess Zelda. With so she's just frozen. Magic pendant, go forth, and with each sign you gather, so too will you gain knowledge. Find your magic wand. Use it wisely and listen to your allies along the way. This is very oh, trippy. Now, my princess, restore the celestial signs and rescue Link. <laughs> Point three FPS. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, Skull Island Dinosaur, the background synth is actually pretty cool. So let's create a file here. Enter thy name. I think this one's overhead, so it's a little bit more traditional Zelda, so... Let's see what kind of an adventure we get here. I've never played this one either. Sick sound design. Goddess is looking at, in case of link capture, break glass to flood Hyrule case. Yep. Uh, live action, I don't know what the bigger lie is, the live part or the action? Holy shit. Oh, this is bleak already. <sighs> Overhead scrolling though, that's sweet. All right, do I have a weapon? No. Let's check out the map though. Damn. Rainy Cake says, I watch Dino, Dino Hour Mondays, Neo Gaia Tuesdays, Big Stream Thursdays, but somehow I think Equip Streams are Fridays are my favorite. Thank you so much, Rainy Cakes. That's quite an honor. Uh huh. You know, next week we're going to play some real games. Um, or maybe we'll continue to play bad games on the Sega Saturn, but I really want to try out my new uh, mode the optical disc emulator because I just filled a one terabyte hard drive SSD up with um, every single Saturn game so that'll be fun how do I get out of the menu here this is infuriating okay see maybe if this were loaded on an Zelda, SSD do not be hasty there is something you must have nearby here Exploration is the key to your success. Thank you, disembodied voice. Yeah, maybe if this were on an SSD, the screen loading times would be a little bit faster. Oh, look at that. I got a broom now. <laughs> I don't know if it's like the interlaced flicker from this game. Mixed with my, like, uh, my keying lights. But this game's kind of making me sick. I don't know. It's like, it moves so slow. Holy shit. There's no enemies to a whole screen full. Let me clean you all with my magic broom. Be gone, dust mites. For I am Maid Zelda. Spawn me right on top of a monster, that's fair. God, could you imagine? I just can't even imagine like developing these games. Alright guys, let's make the most drab color palette imaginable. And that'll be how we start our game. Make sure to include lots of murky browns and greens. suffering creature exiled from great Wimbish in the north. I ask only enough for a single meal for my children who hunger and are chilled by the wind. You want some rupees? You can have some. You will be blessed a thousand times a thousand there, princess. Okay. That's cool. 
<sighs> Welcome to the Moblin's Head Inn, my princess. You look dry. Have a cup of Andor cider on the house. Andor cider. I have a spell of calm to sell. It's made by that will Ewoks. Cost you 100 rubies. Uh, I don't have 100 rubies yet. Oh yeah. Why well, spend a whole lifetime being defeated like me? Get it over with. Quit. Go home. Give up. I love how the CDI can like only play one audio track at a time. So it's like it's either music I am so exhausted or talking. from my travels. If only I'd known to cross the chasm rift with the ladder, it would have saved me months. <laughs> you look like an honest maid. Sit a moment. An honest maid. You said those who go deep into the earth learn to overcome the sins of greed. That may be true, but I do know this. A candle and a silver key can bring you bliss. Hurry on now, lass. Time's a-wasting. Wow. Took me months to cross the thing without a ladder. And due to loading time. <laughs> it's made from Ewoks for sure, Edgar Craigle. All right, so I got to re-equip my weapon since I gave that person the... Uh, Re-equip my magic broom. Oh! Damn. <laughs> oh, this is so bleak. You gotta love how it's just howling wind. I am Shermak, your guide. I have known you since you were a child. Is that right? You were given a difficult challenge. You will have to go far and overcome great danger. Stay calm and use your knowledge and strength to defeat your enemies. Remember what you learn along the way and persevere. Yes, ma'am. Wow. This game, like, seriously hurts to look at. This one, though, is honestly, like, the most resembling of the original Zelda games. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just gonna run past these guys. They look way too hard. Whoa. So you need the ladder for this one for sure. It took me months to cross it without it. This game is making me zone out, so Sefi. Yeah. Oh, nice. At least you get some hearts from them. The strangeness makes it feel kind of surreal to me. It reminds me of the game The Museum of Anything Goes. I've never heard of that. Oh, I can't wait to play a real game after this. day just like getting all of the files on my SSD for the Saturn optical drive emulator because once I put that thing in I don't really want to take it out so I gotta ah, damn it I gotta make sure it's right so after this I'll, I'll install it and then um, hopefully spend the rest of the night playing some enjoyable Sega Saturn games can you play some real Zelda I'm not sure Sega Octopus, because now the chat has spoken that uh, everyone likes to play shitty games instead of real games. Uh, I would like to play, like, um, I don't know, I've, I've beaten all the Zelda games. Um... So I don't know how much I would want to replay one, but I'm I would really like to lady. play, uh... I have a wonderful bargain for you. Take some Argum Herb for free. Then look around. There's plenty to buy. Okay. I really want to play, um... Beyond Oasis for Genesis. Uh... Crusader of Senti, also for Genesis. Newtopia 1 and 2 for Turbo Graphics. Um... 
and Terra Enigma for uh, Super Famicom. Those are all kind of like Zelda likes. Hey, a ladder! Those are all kind of Zelda likes that I'd like that I would like to play. So it's so funny, like I'm their hitbox is bigger because they have that sword. So I was able to sweep them out with my magic broom much easier than the blue bouncing dust mites. God, the monsters just make the most terrifying sounds. And now it'll only take half a month to cross that thing. Oh my god, I hate that sound so much. There's a Eureka 7 game, super rare for Saturn. Uh, sick. Well, yeah, I, I have them all now. So it'll be uh, either extremely fun or just totally take the fun out of playing Saturn. Damn it! Killed by the Tech Titan. <laughs> Can we do every other or something? <laughs> Chat? Yeah, you know what, Agro? It would be so much more fun to just like actually play like, uh, you know, control with all the ray tracing on or um, a ghost runner. Uh, it would be sweet to play like a newer PC game that um, I can uh, crank up all the graphics settings and have it look really cool. Also too, I, I, I gotta see if, if my card is capable of uh, like gaming and streaming at the same time. I can't imagine it wouldn't be, but I'm not sure. You never know. Oh, it's for Dreamcast. You know, I've got um, a USB GD-ROM for Dreamcast Port Defender, so I can uh, download disk images and put them on a flash drive and pop it in uh, my Dreamcast, so... I could try that one out. There's a pretty exciting new development for Dreamcast that's, um, people are... This, this one dude specifically is converting Sega Naomi or, uh, sorry, Sega Thomas Wave arcade um, games to Dreamcast format. Princess, I'll tell you a great secret. So they've done, like, Metal Slug 6. Trust no one with hair. <laughs> Don't even trust me. <laughs> I've stolen one of your lives. Ah, oh, what the hell? <laughs> what a jerk. 1080 Ti can do it, even using GPU encoding. Sweet! I should be good then. Yeah, it's not like I'm going to do it at 4K or anything, you know, I'd probably play at 1080p. Uh, seems like it would be wasted if I did it any higher than that, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll rock some PC games one of these days. I'll probably do a couple weeks of Saturn. Um, unless I can find any more CDI games worth playing before I put this back in the living room. You know, I gotta say that this is, like, slightly more enjoyable than the other two. I don't know if it's because it's top-down and it's more like the old Zelda games. Or because I can actually, like, you know, defeat a couple enemies without totally getting owned. Oh, look at that. It is 9 p.m. Central Time, so... It's time to say goodbye. I wish that I had a cool outro song like, um... Like the big stream has. Ominous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's always tough to say goodbye, but, uh... Yeah, um... It's been kind of a, a busy couple weeks, going back and forth to uh, help my folks out. Um, my dad is doing better. He's um, walking a lot better with his walker, so it's uh, it's good to see him, you know, out of bed and getting around better. Um, I was able to finish the tiling project that has been going on for almost a month at my parents' house, so that's nice. Uh, I feel good about that. And I finished Symphonicore 88, which was like a huge time hog. 
So uh, this month I'm working on a new um, Mallsoft mixtape that's uh, tentatively titled Village Soft or Town Soft, and it's going to be just background music from uh, from RPG villages done in like a Mallsoft reverb out style. So uh, that's that's more of an easygoing project. Synthetic Core remake was just a monster of a project. I probably put like I don't know two or three hundred hours into that. I feel like over this past month, just like every day, working at it for five, six hours a day. And I definitely put like maybe 10 times the amount of time that I put into the original Synthetic Core into Symphonic Core. So um, if you want to hear it, it is on my Patreon, patreon.com slash world of equip. Uh, it's really freaking sweet. Uh, I, w I would highly recommend you <laughs> sign up and listen to it. Uh, I've got all the previous Equips Picks mixtapes in there. There are nine so far, so I've been staying pretty busy this year. Um, the 10th one will be out before the end of the month this time, not into the next month. And the next month I might do like a slush wave Christmas mixtape. So um, all of the pieces are in place to finish out a really nice year of Equips Picks and then probably take a break in January, uh, get the band camp thing set up, and then um, resume again in February. But I'm really gonna be wanting to spend most of January playing video games and working on the new Equip LP. It's been a while and I want to bang it out. Um, so yeah, I've got a couple other projects just in tow in the meantime. So thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, I love to see y'all in the chat. It's always really nice to see people coming back. And um, yeah, it's it's. Uh, I always look forward to, to Friday streams. So thank you, thank you, uh, gamers. It's been real. And um, I'll see y'all on Tuesday for Neo Gaia. Peace.